So we are now in the last part of our discussion for uh, unpowered flight or glide and for the last part we will discuss yung formulas or we will derive formulas for a uh, glide path angle, airspeed and rate of descent. So in the previous video, we have three equations that uh, we have simplified, no? Equation number 1 comes from the summation of uh, vertical forces is equal to 0. Equation number 2 came from the summation of x sub s, the forces along x sub s. x sub s is equal to 0. And equation 3 is the summation of forces along the j sub s axis is equal to 0. So, if we will uh, consider first equation 2 and equation 3, the equation 2, we have c sub, uh, c sub d cube bar s is equal to w sine gamma bar and equation 2 is equal to c sub l q bar s is equal to w cosine gamma bar. Okay, so let's say we solve for W for both of these uh, equations. So W is equal to C sub D Q bar S over sine gamma bar. And for our equation number 3, this is equation 3, W is equal to C sub L Q bar S over cosine gamma bar. Since both of these uh, resulting equations are already equal to W, we can go ahead and wait. C sub D Q bar S over sine gamma bar is equal to C sub L Q bar S over cosine gamma bar. So, we can have the ratio. If we will solve for sine gamma over cosine gamma, then that will uh, be equal to C sub D Q bar S over C sub L, Q bar S. Okay? We can cancel Q bar S and we chose the ratio sine gamma over cosine gamma bar because that is conveniently equal to tangent gamma bar. So this is C D over C sub L. And for uh, convenience sake as well, we want to uh, we want to get this as a function of CL over CD. Okay? This particular ratio, lift to drag ratio, is a, a very important concept uh, and it will be applied later on uh, in your discussion of uh, applied subsonic aerodynamics. So finally, we can now have the formula for our gamma bar from uh, this equation. Okay? Gamma bar is simply arc tangent of 1 over CL over C sub D. Okay? So that is the first formula that uh, we have derived. And gamma bar is your glide path angle. So this is glide path angle. Okay? So next, let us solve for airspeed. Their speed or v. So from our equation number one, we have uh, c sub r is equal to w over q bar s. So w is equal to c sub r q bar s. Meanwhile, our dynamic pressure is equal to one half rho v squared. So if we will substitute that. We have C sub R times 1 half rho V squared times S. Oh, substitute Q bar S. So we can now solve for V from this equation. And V would be equal to the square root of, so we will group W over S because this is a very important concept as well. And that is conveniently called as your wing loading. Okay. 
wing loading two over row we'll have two over row okay and then we have one over c sub r times one over c sub r yes okay so two over row is your uh, altitude factor and one over c sub r is in terms of uh, the coefficient of the resultant of lift and drag. So let's highlight this. Another formula for velocity is uh, velocity as a function of your C sub L. Now to do that, we would have to uh, get our equation number 3. C sub L Q bar S is equal to W cosine gamma bar so that we could have c sub l because the usual formula for velocity is always in terms of wing, lo lo wing loading 2 over rho and c sub l okay so using this formula we'll have c sub l and we know that q bar is 1 half rho v squared so times s is equal to w cosine gamma bar and finally your V there would be equal to the square root of W over S. That is conveniently grouped again. Wing loading, 2 over rho, and then 1 over C sub L times your cosine gamma bar. Okay, so those are the two formulas for velocity that we have solved for this, uh, or velocity for airspeed that we have solved for this video. And then finally, we have our rate of descent. Okay? So for our rate of descent, let us uh, again consider the aircraft. No? The diagram of our aircraft or the flight mechanics of this aircraft that we have discussed for unpowered flight. So as you can see here, we have X sub S and I have already told you that uh, Velocity is found along this X sub S, along the stability uh, axis. So, if our V is there, if our V is found there, then therefore, we have, we can have again a triangle similar to our first video. We have our triangle, and in our first video, we have uh, discussed that the vertical component of V, since the aircraft is pitching upward, is equal to the rate of climb. Well, in this case, it will now be the rate of descent. Okay? So, I'll just uh, draw the triangle here. Let's say that that is the V, the velocity vector. And I have my. Uh, vertical component so let's say that this is our that's the vertical component and this is the horizon so let's make this uh, 0 degrees okay so I now have a right triangle I now have a right triangle in which this angle is equal to my uh, gamma bar. Okay, remember that on top here, you just uh, use the ruler for it to be straight. No, this is our horizon. This is our horizon, and if this is our x sub s, from x sub s to our horizon, we have a uh, Establish that from x sub s to our horizon is our gamma bar. So if this is gamma bar, then this is also equal to your gamma bar. Okay? So the vertical component here is equal to, so if I have, if I will use uh, the sine function, because this is the opposite side, no? Sine gamma bar is equal to the vertical component over v. Okay, the hypotenuse P. So therefore, the vertical component is equal to 
b sine gamma bar. And since our v is pointing downwards, no, down to the right, then therefore the vertical component is downward. So this is now called, the vertical component is now in my rate of descent. Okay? Rate of descent. Okay? So the rate of descent is equal to v sine gamma bar. Rate of descent, r sub d, is equal to b sine gamma bar. From our previous uh, formulas, we have solved for v. And let's use the formula for v, which is in terms of uh, c sub l. So that would be w over s, 2 over rho, times 1 over cl, times your cosine gamma bar. Okay, so we can substitute that there and we'll uh, have r sub d is equal to square root of w over s, 2 over rho, 1 over cl times cosine gamma bar. And this would be multiplied to sine gamma bar. But sine gamma bar sine gamma bar is uh, actually equal to so we we had uh, a derivation here so let's just go back so we could be refreshed no let's hide our ruler sine gamma bar from this from this equation no we have sine over cosine sine gamma bar over cosine gamma bar is equal to cd over cl so let's uh, write that down sine gamma bar over cosine gamma bar is equal to cd over cl okay so therefore sine gamma bar is equal to cosine gamma bar times c sub d over c sub l so if we again substitute that to our uh, problem we will have w over s 2 over rho, 1 over Cl, times cosine gamma bar, and then this would be multiplied. Sine would be replaced by cosine gamma bar times Cd over Cl. Now, if we would uh, try, if we would put this quantity, this cosine this cosine times cd over cl inside the square root, then cosine would be cosine squared. And if I multiply that to uh, cosine here, then this would be cosine cubed. c sub d would be c sub d squared, and c sub l would be c sub l squared. So finally, r sub d, or the rate of descent, would be equal to w over s, 2 over rho, and then this would be 1 over cl cube, as I've mentioned, over c sub d squared times cosine cube gamma bar. Okay, so take note of this formula for our rate of descent. Let me just uh, write down, this is for rate of descent. Okay? Now, what if theoretically we want to solve for the horizontal distance covered in a steady glide? So, we want to find out R, which represents the horizontal distance horizontal horizontal distance covered in a steady glide. So for that, we have to uh, draw a triangle. So let's just uh, draw a triangle. And let's say that 
this is where our glider is. And this is the horizontal component of my velocity. And this one would be the velocity, the vector for velocity. Okay? So, if that is the horizon, and this would be my x sub s again, then therefore this is gamma bar. So, let's say that this is the height, the total height, okay, where our glider is uh, at, and we want to solve for r, the horizontal distance covered. So that is uh, very simple because if we will use tangent, the tangent function, so tangent gamma bar, so we automatically have the ratio opposite is h over r. And r would be simply equal to h over tangent gamma bar. We can still simplify that further. We know that uh, tangent tangent gamma bar is equal to cd over cl and that is from uh, the derivation that we have made for the glide path angle and if we substitute that to our r which is equal to h over tangent gamma bar then we will have here h over cd over cl or simply h times CL over CD. So let me just uh, write that down again. So the formula, the simplified formula that we will use to solve for the R or the horizontal distance covered in a steady glide, that would be equal to your H times the ratio of your uh, CL and CD or your lift to drag ratio. Now, in essence, if we want to if we want to get the if we want to cover if we want to cover the maximum distance no? if we want to cover the maximum distance for our glider then our gamma bar should be at minimum and how will we achieve a minimum gamma bar so to achieve a uh, minimum gamma bar we will uh, again go to the formula tangent tangent gamma bar is equal to CD over CL and we have uh, our formula for gamma bar which is uh, equal to the arc tangent of 1 over CL over C sub D. No? So, in order for this gamma bar to be minimum, then therefore, the ratio of lift to drag the ratio of lift to drag, 1 over CL over CD, the ratio of lift to drag should be maximum. And if this is maximum, then therefore, your R, or the uh, horizontal distance covered by the glider, if CD over CL is maximum, then your R would also be maximum. Because R is equal to h, if you multiply the height times the CL over CD, the maximum ratio, then you will also get the, you will also get the maximum horizontal distance covered. Okay? So, these are the two final formulas for our video for this time. So, thank you for uh, watching. You can, uh, if you don't understand something, you can comment it in the comment section and I would uh, gladly reply. Thank you for watching.